we want to find the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of tangent of 5x raised to the x power. If I plug in 0, I get 0 to the 0th power, and that's an indeterminate form. So I'm going to use e to the natural log of my original function, which was tangent of 5x raised to the x power. So these two right here are equivalent. And the exponent will come down as e to the x natural log of tangent 5x. And then the limit and the e are going to switch spots. So I'm going to be taking the limit of the exponent. Which right now, if I plug in 0, I get 0 over here. And then ln of 0, which this approaches negative infinity. So I'm going to rewrite x in terms of 1 over 1 over x. Okay, now, here I get 0 over 0, or sorry, neg negative infinity over infinity. And so uh, I'm going to use L'Hopital's rule, take the derivative of natural log tangent 5x, which is 1 over tangent 5x times 5 secant squared 5x. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. I'm going to rewrite this, so basically the x squared gets multiplied to the top, and then the tangent of 5x comes, out, comes down to the bottom. So it's negative 5x squared secant squared 5x over tangent 5x. Now I'm going to rewrite this in terms of sine and cosine because the cosine 5x is going to cancel. This will cancel, and I'm left with negative 5x squared over cosine 5x times sine 5x, which I can factor out the negative 1 over cosine 5x here, or I guess separate this, not factor, separate it under two limits using the product rule. This now will go to negative 1, and now I just need to solve for 5x squared over sine 5x, which, you know, here you get 0 over 0, so you use um, L'Hopital's rule, you get 10x over 5 cosine 5x, the bottom becomes 5, the top becomes 0, so this whole thing is just 0, negative 1 times 0 is 0, and e to the 0 is 1, and that is our limit.